Okay, we're at the ferry going across to Samar and it's an open air ferry. Um, some of the vehicles get turned around, some back on. Um, this big, uh, oh, better turn this around and show you. Uh, this big guy's gonna park right in the middle. Another big honking guy coming on. It's the Philippines. Every one of these vehicles is running their air con, so they're gonna idle all the way over. Not us, we're gonna be out of this thing. Now we can go up, but we won't be going up. Um, our friends are bringing their dog along, so we had to get the quarantine papers that says that we must quarantine the dog all the way through. There's another ferry there. Uh, quarantine all the way through to Bogo. It's part of the S-Pass process. There was something to do with uh, pets. And so then we went to the vet and he said, oh, you need this, this, and this, and that's what we did. Anyway, so there we are, we're on the ferry. cream and the sugar all built in. Lynn's always negotiating. This poor guy's trying to make a living. Upward and upward. Okay. Knuckle bump. There we go. No, oh, not for me. I don't drink coffee. Bad for you. Begging. It's a different form of begging. You're really making him work for it now because he's. <laughs> oh, he got that one before it hit the bottom. He's getting tired. Because it's just my pencil, so you give him a different drink. Okay. And I'm gonna take you up here and show you. This guy was over by the other row row, as they call him Hair Fairy. And uh, his buddy with a um, one of these boats down here. See, even the little kids will dive for coins here. And uh, you don't have to worry about these guys' vitamin D levels. Holy macro, they ever dark. This isn't the first time we've seen this. I'm sure it's a uh, living for many of them. And across the ferry there, we've got another group of tourists getting out. Some are legitimate tourists, then they'll uh, they'll do it. Okay, there we go. And we thought that they were only going to do half a boat, but they actually stabilize the boat before they get the other trucks to back on. So they'll come out here and jack these things down, I think. And, uh, right. 
two hard-working guys right in here. You got some more coins? There's a kid over here. I guess. Oh my god. That's the bad. Just throw? Okay, just throw it. Oh my god. He sees it. He sees it. I'd rather give them, them the money than doing that because it's not really. It's not fair. That's well, um, if you knew that you could float a 50, you would put it. I don't know how you'd float a 50 though. I'll just wrap it with coins. You have to come over here. No, no, come here, come here. Competition is high, guys. Competition is high. Okay. Now, before this starts costing us a thousand pesos and another thousand pesos. <laughs> Lynn feels so good for these guys. Look at these two fools in here. They're just giving her the boogie woogie. <laughs> See my camera? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's uh, very high tech. You too? Yeah, I am also. But, uh, ah, highway vlogger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Enjoy your day. <laughs> this kid just jumped on board because he saw that we were given money. And uh, this is how it's done, guys. This is reality. This is why I do not whine and complain about my Western culture. I do not complain. You think about it, other cultures, this is their reality. And here we are, we're whining and complaining about our kids having to maybe go in high school and have a minimum wage job. Nowadays, now, it's so many don't do it. Okay. Got a small amount for him. He actually broke on board to get some cash. Some coins. We get a picture together? Okay, there we go. Okay. John's trying to keep cool. In amongst all of these idling vehicles. There we go. Anyway, enjoy your day, guys. We'll check in with you when we get to summer.